In my lifetime as a Floridian, there's a few iconic fisheries that either have eluded me or I've yet to experience. One of those is the chaotic Boca Grand Pass. Between the PTTS TV show, years of photo and video, this well-documented fishery remains, in my opinion, one of the most epic in Florida. Thousands of massive tarpon all congregated in one singular pass. Don't let the sheer number of fish fool you. There's nothing that's easy about this fishery. Between the hundreds of boats, hungry sharks, and sometimes just a non-existent bite, this fishery can challenge almost anyone. What's going on y'all? Welcome to another video. We just had a pretty epic day fishing out here in a place that I've never fished before and wanted to fish my entire life. We're in Boca Grand Pass today. My boy Captain Trey, he's put finding some fish right now. And the man Alec, we're chasing some of my favorite fish in the world, giant tarpon, and probably the most chaotic fishery I've ever experienced. There are a, there are a ton of fish and there are a ton of boats. Let's get after it. It's a little crab. Weighted down, a little four out circle. They just marked some tarpon on the depth finder and side scan. Puts us kind of in a position and tells us to drop the crabs down. The crabs got those little weights on them, so they'll naturally go down on their own, but the weights help them get down a little bit more because you got the drag of the line and drag of the boat kind of pulling them back up. Now I'm just constantly feeding line off the reel here, making it look like kind of a natural crab drifting down onto the bottom fish in front of us, as you guys can see. That's so funny. Look at Oh my god, dude, this is sick. This is so sick. <laughs> on, 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 on. Alex, on. He's coming up. Coming up. Is your drag tight? Yeah. Okay. It's the just smooth. It's just stiff, dude. <laughs> I'll put that on the, uh, yeah, there you go. Oh! Came off? He just came off right there. What the heck? Oh, he broke. Oh, he just came off. And that is hookup number one. First fish off of the day. It's tarpon fishing for you. <laughs> Check this out y'all. So we're in the middle of the day right now and the tarpon are kind of chilling. There's not a great tide for them. So we're taking time, just eating some lunch and I flew the drone in the air. And look at this footage. I just found a giant bull shark swimming along this flat. It, you know, it makes you think that these bull sharks are essentially, they are just sitting here getting ready for the tarpon to kind of start moving around, <laughs> getting ready for people to start hooking tarpon because these bull sharks have, you know, lived here for a really long time and they, they understand the area, they understand what's happening and these are definitely tarpon eaters. Super, super awesome to see on the drone though. I love the perspective and, you know, you can really just appreciate how massive and huge these animals are. All right, afternoon chew. The morning was not it, but we are about to hook a fish or two right now. I just want a small crab because the tarpon have been keyed in on small crabs. That right, guy will do. It's a lively bugger. And I'm going to hook him through this point right here. I'm just gonna work that hook. You don't wanna make too big of a hole, so you work the hook back and forth real slowly. Until it breaks through, just back and forth. Bam. 
Got a little weight action on there to get him down. Pass like in between the Yamaha. You can go further than that. Okay. So y'all didn't see it, but we are now 0 for 2. I dropped down, closed my bail, and literally just felt it get tight. I reeled tight, and then the fish just kind of came off. The circle just didn't get them. So changed my hook, new crab on, we're 0 for 2. Let's try and get one now. So as we're resetting our drift, I'm out here looking, seeing if there's any crabs. We got plenty of crabs because Trey's been fishing the past couple days, but if I see any fresh ones, I'm just going to dip net one. Just grab them, throw them in the well for later because those crabs that are just moving really, really fast, I feel like get bit better. And they'll hold on to all this seaweed and stuff like that as they're getting flushed out with the outgoing tide. Missed him. <laughs> oh yeah. So there's a crab right there. Whoa! Hey, you gotta de claw those. Huh? You gotta de claw them. I mean, I just grab them in the net and twist. No, that kills them. What do you do? You just squeeze them with your pliers and your fingers. You squeeze them all and they let go. So the claw itself? Yeah, they'll let go. Twist it and kill them. Squeeze it. Okay, let it go? Yep. We getting them. We are getting them right now. Uh, crabs are flushing pretty good. We got about 15 within 10 feet of the boat right now. Just cruising. We got a whole live well full of them. We're just kind of sitting here watching them. I feel like these tarpon are going to start chewing as soon as this light gets a little bit lower. As soon as that sun comes down a little bit lower, it's going to be on. We're seeing... Right now we're seeing a few boats hook up here and there, but definitely the fish are not in a feeding mode at this time. They're kind of just chilling. There's more hookups right at the tide switch. And at this point, like the tide's moving and the fish are just kind of probably just chilling, waiting for that low light before they really go to feed. If I was watching this video and knew nothing about fishing in Boca Grande Pass, I'd be watching all of these clips of the tarpon rolling and asking why the heck isn't this idiot throwing his crab in the middle of all those fish rolling? They may not be feeding, but clearly they look like they're in a feeding mood. That's how tarpon are pretty much everywhere else in the world. Well, not so fast. Talking to my buddy Trey, who, you know, is a captain and has fished this spot or fished Boca Grande plenty of times, those fish are coming up from 60 feet of water, gulping air as fast as they can, and headed straight back down to the bottom. None of those fish are ever feeding. So while the natural ang angler's inclination is to throw his crab in the middle of all those fish, None of those fish are really feeding, at least not in the middle of the day when they're in 60 feet of water like this. Later in the day, when they go in shallower and move up to the top of the water column and they start blowing up crabs, then they're feeding. But there's actually a distinct difference if you really pay attention on how these fish roll, how fast they're rolling, and if you really start to pay attention, you'll notice that none of them are feeding or even trying to feed. So Captain Trey is on. I got it. There we go, Alec. Trey had to do it for us. <laughs> Trey got tight. Captain Trey got tight. Best part of the fight is uh, the hookup. The, hook <laughs> yeah, the rest sucks. <laughs> Handed Alec the rod. Alec doesn't mind fighting a fish at all. I don't, but <laughs> the bite is definitely the best part. All right, get tight with that thing, son. He's about a mile out. <laughs> so this has been kind of a crazy day just seeing a lot of fish it's just a crazy active fishery there's so much going on but you don't get a lot of hookups in the middle of the day when it's kind of hot you kind of get bites on the tide switches and then you get bit in the low light in the low light situation so we're finally getting to that sundown bite we came over to a shallower area Trey hooked up immediately as soon as we threw our crabs out. So Alex got this fish. You sure you know how to fight him, dude? You remember how? It's been a while. <laughs> he almost spooled the 10K. 
There was only a couple wraps left. No way. Yes. No way. So I saw the backing. So <laughs> I swear I saw the backing. Coming up to the right. Come on, just wait. We're still down the car. It's acting real weird. It's acting like a tarpon. All right, Alec, how do you fight these fish when they're like this? Well, just pray. <laughs> just pray? Charging. Charging, dude. You called it. Coming up. Scoping up right here, right? Coming up. Oh, oh my god. You got, you got it's that. Stud. It's a stud. Over 100. I'd put it right at 100. Well, I don't really know. That thing was thick. Thick? How many C's? Q U E. Thick with a Q? <laughs> <laughs> oh Coming up again. Wild Cuban man fights large silverfish. If Trey hadn't gotten the boat and put it in gear on this fish, we would have got spooled. I can guarantee you that. Blew it out. That's sick. Yeah. Saucing them. Oh, there you got leader. You got leader. Get the leader. No, that's your fucking wind knot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that West Coast wind knot. <laughs> that Yozuri. <laughs> that Yozuri break lights out. Look at that wind knot going into the water. It's holding. It's like, it don't matter. Wind knots don't matter. Got that, son. That's a fucking giant. <laughs> yeah, way well over. You're hooked or no? I think it's hooked right in the button. These are some of the most just. These are just some of the most incredible fish in the world because you know how massive they are. Hard fighting. They jump out of the water. They just. They literally give you their all the whole time, and it's just Alex giving this fish the business. This fish is giving Alec the business, and you know what else can you ask for in a game fish? You just oh, just throw out your back there. Pull <laughs> <laughs> out his back, <laughs> bro. This man was fighting a 38-pound permit, and he's like, Ryan, I can't reel. I'm like, reel. He's like, my biceps cramping. Dude, I hate reeling. Didn't you used to do that a lot? Yeah, I used to get the cramps bad. Is this dude anymore? Get him, Mark Sosin. I was avoiding that club. You gonna go down and dirty? No, this this fish it don't matter. Oh my god! Coming up! Whoa! Oh got that god. shit. That's a giant. Oceanic. Dude, you got an oceanic? Leader in the tip? That actually, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Get in the tip. Get, get. She's right here, Trey. Come on, the glove. That might be closer to a buck fifty, no? Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, son! Got Trey. him, boy! Put the boom gear. Got him. We'll swing it. Start it. You put it in gear. Here, Woo! Turn the other way so you get the sun. That's a big fish. Uh, that fish is 140. Yeah. Gotta be. That's a big Here. fish. Good work, boys. Nice work. This is video. Nice work. Looks sick, boys. Heck yeah. All right. You gotta keep that head in the water. Getting that full-on revive of this fish. Trey's getting, making sure it's super, super cool, super, uh, you know, super revived so no sharks get it or anything like that. Just chilling. Boys, good work. That's a fish. 
It was a long day for that first fish. Now we're gonna go try and hook you. like 10 more. I told you it was gonna happen. And now they're chewing, so we're gonna get back over there and get more crabs in the water. Quick shout out to the fam over at Navel's Apparel. That is my clothing sponsor. This bamboo hoodie that I'm wearing, they are a huge supporter of the channel and it's really comfortable clothing that's reasonably priced and I think you guys would absolutely love. So check them out. I have them linked in the description and I have a discount code for you guys. Code Ryan20 will save you guys 20% at right. checkout. Redrift time. We got our crab right here. Hopefully we find us a big old tarpon. Alec just hooked up. Should I keep fishing or what? Yeah, yeah, keep fishing. All right. It doesn't feel big. Well, you got a nine foot big old rod on him. Coming up. Nice, dude. Nice. This is sick. Coming so up. He feels a little loose, yeah. What's coming? Oh! oh! Hey, dude, he's not small. He's not small. He's not small. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, on this, yeah. Really? Oh, 100% on this. That like a That's like a Yeah, Alex, like, it's probably small. <laughs> All right, give him the sauce now, Alex. See what that reel can do. This reel seat is shot. What do you mean that reel it's seat's shot? Loose. It's brand new. Coming up. Find a bite. Yeah, you guys got bit. We missed both got bites. crunched. Yeah. Just missed the bite. Definitely. There's only one thing up here that needs to crash. I had maybe but you don't get your crab back. Nah. Give him the sauce, Alec. I'm scared with the owner. What do you mean? Until I see where she's hooked, I'm not giving him the sauce. Oh my god. Yeah, he's got a nine foot telephone pole in the air letting everyone know. But my man is tight. Tight, tight. Just had my rod rebuilt. Now you're good. Kinda out, but not too you're far. Fine. You ever been broke off in the phosphate docks? Oh! That was aggressive. Oh my Come god! Come back here. That boy's getting Coming up, drunk. coming up, come up! Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Looked pretty good, evidently. That bitch said I'm a gymnast. <laughs> he just pole vaulted, dude. <laughs> oh, quality content. This homie's hooked up over here. Look at look at that high stick action. High stick of doom. Alex, show this guy how to high stick properly. I can't with this rod. <laughs> That's a bad idea. This thing's doing me the down and dirty. That's a big fish. I don't want to grab that one. Oh, coming up. Oh, you're out. You cut all this crap out. <laughs> yeah, it's so annoying. He never shuts <laughs> up. It's like you're fishing with a 14 year old boy. Oh, that fish aired out, right? <laughs> that fish jumped and he straight didn't move the rod. That's like, what he does on the beach, dude. He sets the hook again when they're in the air. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even bow. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh my god, dude, this is an immovable object. Uh, you're just fishing the worst leveraged rod possible. Coming up. Somebody just replied to my Instagram story. Coming up. Oh. Dang, dude. Nope. Get another one. Frayed through it. I told you that fish wasn't hooked good. I don't think he frayed through it, did he? Yeah, yeah frayed through it. Frayed through it. Got it in there, probably. The next part of the evening became what will forever be ingrained in me as one of the most frustrating hours of fishing of my entire life. The tarpon started to move in shallow. They moved out of their 60 foot pass into shallower water right in that 16 to 17 foot range. And when the fish are in there, they are feeding. So as opposed to the early rollers that we saw throughout the main part of the day, the fish are now coming up on top and popping crabs. And this is happening all around us. And it seemed like everywhere we looked, boats were hooked up around us. Now these boats are fishing the exact same rigs that we're fishing, exact same hooks, or at least very similar hooks. So our presentations aren't very much different, but it seemed like we weren't getting the amount of bites that every boat around us was. Honestly, it was just plain bad luck. 
But for me, as someone that's kind of competitive, I was getting legitimately frustrated. And the bites that I did get, it seemed like the fish would hit the crab and then something would go wrong. Just bad luck again, I would miss the hook set, the fish wouldn't get the circle hook. And y'all, I was trying to maintain my composure because when I get competitive, when I get in my head that I wanna do something, it is extremely frustrating for me. Fucking little minnows and shit, y'all. Right. My God. Alright, well, how far were you from that fish? Uh, probably like six feet. Yeah. Everything I'm seeing is this side. Right there. Right off the front. Heavy, son. There, there. I just lost one. Yeah, I just came off. He spit the crab. Crab still on there. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity when reality was only yeah. probably an hour, Alec hooked up and then I hooked up as well. Tight. Oh, fun size, Mahias. Oh my God. Oh, I'm recording. Fun size, Mahias. Is it sideways? Yeah, yeah. perfect. We are doubled up. Doubled up. The sun went down. Oh my God. This bite's been pretty tough, but uh, I'm getting cool. What are you doing, bro? Can you feel me? No. Okay. I'm way out. So we're good. Double header. Nice big tarpon. It has been a long... Are you sure you don't feel me? I'm under you. Yeah, there you go. I'm getting They're scared. charging the hill, boys. They are charged. They are all up on the hill. This has been really, really frustrating for us because we're all, you know, pretty seasoned anglers. And there's been a lot of fish blowing up, a lot of boats hooking up, and we've just had bad luck, to say the least. Just straight up bad luck and just not getting bites when other boats are getting bites. But what now, the, my man Alex is just getting spooled. Stop him. I can't. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I just got terminated. Oh, man. Oh, you're getting dumped. There's two types of tarpon you're right here. You're getting dumped. I'm, dude, I'm spooled. I'm you have so much more line than that, but... I'm done. We've got, let Ryan get underneath you. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I can see the edge. <laughs> I can see the edge, dude. Pop it. Oh, he stopped him. Did he stop him? Come on, winch down. Winch down. Come on, hit him hard. Hit him hard. Oh, we got the splice back in the line. <laughs> hit him hard. Just hit him hard. <laughs> Ryan, is your fish right here? Yeah, my fish is basically under the top. We got a... We got a big old tarp in there. Right, grab your rod. That was my my fish. Got him. I'll try and hold the rod and the camera. Trying to the tarpon. Woo! This is ghetto. Alec is still hooked up in the back. All right, got him. Got him. Yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. You can just get the hook out and let him go if you want. We'll get this release on this fish and then we'll go chase Alex. Right in the button. Beautiful. Alrighty. Beautiful fish, probably in that 70, 80 pound class. What? What do you think? No, he's bigger than 70. I don't know, dude. So Alec and I hooked up at the exact same time and Alec's been fighting this fish the whole time. About got spooled twice at this point and is now, we're now gaining on him. We're now able to chase him down a little bit. That video that Trey got is going to be hilarious. You're doing like your monologue and I'm just there freaking out. Getting, getting the business. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't.
turn this thing. Maybe you did hook a shark. He blew that shit out. Nah, it's not it. He has probably... not jumped yet. No, not at all? No. I... This fish... This fish has not stopped just giving Alec the business the whole fight. And it's just literally, I landed a hundred pound fish in like five, 10 minutes. We drug him, chase Alec's fish down while we're dragging my fish. It was just, there was a whole gotta thing. Jump. Coming up. Way out there. That far? Yeah. Dude, it just took, I don't know, 30 yards? Like nothing. You sure you're not fishing like two pounds of drag? Yes. I'm not, dude. There's no way. You you freight off two fish in a row. I know you're not fishing light drag. Got the blood moon coming up. Pretty crazy looking. Dude, that thing was huge, dude. That's a big fish. Holy oh, shit, shit, that fish is big. That fish is big. That thing's like 140, 150. That's a big fish. How big do you think he is, Ryan? I haven't gotten a good look at him. That fish is big. That okay. thing is f***ing huge, How big do you think it is? It's just girthy. <laughs> yeah, it's fat. It's... Oh! Off the boat, off the boat, off the boat. I thought you said I wasn't going off. Now you are. Yeah, I mean, you definitely weren't for at least 10 minutes. Until we started talking shit. <laughs> Dude, that thing is huge. Are you kidding yeah, me? Cool. I got a, we can like the girth of the Yeah, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's probably all. She, she turned on her side there for a second, too. So, yeah, that's a dude. We should like the girth of that one. Alright, Trey, what do we got going on? That's a real one. Yeah? You think you think like 140 class? It's close. We'll length and girth it. We'll now. I don't want to hold them too long, but. Yeah, just real thick fish. It's a big fish. We were talking smack to Alex saying it was like an 80 pounder. It's definitely bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> it's not long, it's just fat. Yeah, a lot of these fish have been really fat lately. There's Gain something line. with the uh, tarpon eggs, I don't remember what it is, but there's like something where they need a certain amount of fat in the egg to get it, there's crab, to nice. get it to like uh, float or something like that after they spawn. Mm -hmm. So that's why they eat so much. Feel that? Walker Jimmy, Walker Jimmy, Walker Jimmy. Uh, my bad hand. Time around the sun. Get a walk, get a crank, get a crank, get a crank. Yeah, there you go. Now walk it through. Perfect. Right, that's her ass. Got him. Nice. Woo! Why? Put the boat Woo. here. Start the boat. Put it in gear. Yep. It's fine, Tom. The tape's right there. Where's that? To the fork or to the pink? It's to the fork. Girth right, right around the middle. There he is, Ryan. Alright, get the hook out. Ryan, you get a pick? Absolutely epic way to end the night. Double header on tarpon. We got my fish to the boat pretty quick. Nice 90 pound class fish and then landed Alex fish. You know, probably somewhere in that 120 pound range that fish just gave him the business. Did not jump. Probably fought that fish for, you know, 20 something minutes. Absolutely awesome day. Absolutely crazy experience out here in Boca Grande. So huge shout out to my man Trey behind the camera. Just an awesome fishery. And thank you brother, I appreciate it. And something I've always wanted to do. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one.